Yeah, Larry Kristen, good afternoon. Here at the Russian Bridge, there are Caltrain crews in place at those closed lanes to turn traffic, pushing people away from meeting, even getting close to them. But now there's a wonder about whether or not this bridge was due for upgrades even before this crash happened earlier this week. The Bay Area Council exploring that possibility. Burn marks on the side of the Richmond Bridge toll plaza days after a fatal big rig crash. Three lanes are still closed and Caltrain says they will be shut down for a while. These three lanes that are closed, the far right three lanes that are closed, uh, will be closed for several days or even weeks. Questions are now coming up over whether the bridge should have received a much needed repair job. The Bay Area Council says they've been working on a report highlighting the dangers of this bridge. We all know we need to get rid of these toll booths. Why the heck does it take so long? John Grubb, the council COO, says toll booths at the plaza have been in place since the 1950s and don't fit with the way people drive now. He says Caltrans and toll authorities should have removed the toll booths as soon as they stopped being used. And the impact is, can be really catastrophic and tragic um, where someone is dying, you know, crashing into toll booths. Following Monday's crash, he says they should remove them immediately. Caltrans says they are currently evaluating how to fix it. We're still waiting to come up with a game plan of how we can rem remove that damaged equipment and replace it. But the toll booths aren't the only issue, according to Grubb. The way the traffic is jammed leads to an increased risk of car pollution. It's now the largest source of PM 2.5 emissions. These are really harmful um, chemicals that get into the lungs of people um, is from the morning backup. He says the state needs to make changes to the bridge or else it will get more dangerous for drivers. We need to be able to do stuff a lot more quickly and we need to think about things holistically. Now, Grubb did go on to mention they are looking at the possibility of moving the bike lanes away from where they're currently at. They don't want to get rid of them, but they say right now there's not that many people riding bikes across the bridge compared to the amount of drivers they're seeing in the morning. So they're looking at any possibilities they can to make it safer for drivers. We're live in Richmond, Ryan Curry, ABC 7 News. All right, Ryan, we know there's often a ripple effect. How does this crash affect the other bridges? Yeah, well, Caltrans has said that they haven't seen a significant impact yet in terms of traffic on this bridge, though the Bay Area Council did say that it's pretty common that when something like this happens to a bridge, others are choosing different commute patterns, therefore creating congestion in different areas. Indeed. All right. Thank you so much. Ryan Curry reporting.